Knowing the features of the Earth as a sphere will help you to find distance between two places on the latitude, on the longitude, on the surface of the Earth. So if you are dreaming of being a pilot, then know that you are going to apply this mathematics in your uh, adventurous uh, spirit of finding your location from one country to another. Same applied to the soldiers, the sailors, and so on and so forth. So come along, let's see the mathematical aspect of that exploration. So we are going to consider the Earth as a sphere. It is not a sphere, perfect as we can pick it, but we can consider that. So the Earth can be considered to be a perfect sphere with a radius of 6,400 kilometers. The radius of the sphere, which we are considering as what? The Earth. So there are two types of circles that we can draw on the surface of the sphere. This will be P, H, right? Good. Now, these two circles that we are going to draw, one of them is called a grid circle. What is a grid circle? A circle has its center the same as the center of the sphere. In this case, at the center of the X is a grid circle. So we can say that it is the largest circle that can be drawn on the surface of a sphere, in this case, the X. As the center of the great circle is also the center of the sphere, which in this case the Earth. So the equator and all the lines of longitude are considered to be a great circle. So for example, if you look at this, all the red lines you are seeing, the blue lines is showing the cardinal point. So we can label, we have the north, we have the south, we have the west, and we have what? The east. So if we are picking this, so all this line, the red line, this one line is just representing an example of what? Longitude. If you draw a line from the north to the south, that is from north to the south, that line is longitude. If it passes the north to south, bulging to the west or bulging to the east, they all refer to the same things. We have longitude from north to south. Then, the line we are seeing here in the middle, here in the center, is the equator. That is what? The standard zero word, uh, latitude. So this is going to be the equator. So these are all examples. As long as we are drawing it from the north to the south, bordering to the east, then its counterpart to this. So consider the black line as a circle. A circle must be equidistant from what? Its fixed point. So the black line shows that a complete movement. So that's a circle. It's a great circle because its center is the same as the center of the sphere. In this case, the, uh, the X. All right. Then we also have a small circle. When we say a small circle, it's any circle on the surface of the X, the sphere, whose center is not the same as the center of the Earth. So this one is a circle, all right, but its center is different, meaning the radius of this small circle will be different from the radius of the sphere itself, where in this case we are referring to what? The F. So in this case, you can see all these blue lines are also going to be uh, considered, or they are the, the examples of a small circle. So this lines we are seeing here are the latitude while these lines are the longitude so this latitude that we are drawing you can see that this circle is very small compared to this compared to this you see that they are different so if you draw this here the circle you are going to form there will have its center here so it will be having a radius like this. Do you get that? So the radius will be this. But if you pick the great circle, the radius of the circle, uh, how do you call it? the sphere, is from O to E. The sphere itself, which is the Earth, is from O to E. But if I want to find the radius of the 
circle formed by the equator, the standard zero latitude, is going to be from here. Let me put a point here. You can see if I put point A, which is the same as the, the west, the line drawn from here is going to be the same as drawing from O to W. Look at that. From O to W is describing the radius of the uh, earth. Then the O to A is also describing the radius of the great circle. So they have the same center. They have the same radius. All right. Then if you come to the small circle, they are not going to have the center with the, uh, the earth. So their center is going to be different. Each of them will have their center different from what the one we have for the, the earth or the sphere. So this will also have a center here. So the radius will be different. So in this case, we are only saying that there are going to be two types of circles that we are going to draw, which can be defined by the latitude and the longitude. But in the longitude, all longitude describes our great circle. All the longitude you'll be drawing will be describing a great circle with uh, inclusion of what? The equator. The equator is a standard zero latitude. It's also a latitude, right? It is not moving horizontal, right? Is it what? Vertical. That is what I'm moving word, horizontal, right? The vertical lines we are seeing are the longitude. Then the horizontal lines are also going to be the latitude. I believe the concept of the great circle and that of uh, a small circle is understood. Now, if we are saying that the radius here is not going to be the same as the radius of the sphere, it means there are differences. We can come up with the differences. Since the radius of the edge is 6,400, that also means that the radius of every great circle will be 6,400. How about the radius of uh, a small circle? You can see that we cannot define that in terms of that. So let's see what will be the relationship between the radius of a great circle, which is that of the earth, and the radius of a small circle. Let's see the connection between the two. Okay? So let's consider this as a sphere. The black line you are seeing is... Can you identify that? I believe that to be the small circle, right? So the small circle is drawn here. So the radius is going to be uh, from A to B. B is going to be the center. Where O is going to be the center of the earth. Then B will be the center of that circle. Remember, we said the center will be here, 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 or here. For that small circle. So now if that's the case, then the line from the center to A is also describing the radius of the circle. So if I pick the radius of the circle, I'll be forming a triangle, O, A, B, a right angle triangle. Since the center is going to be a straight line, it will be also parallel to the cardinal west east. Okay. Then this angle right here will be the same as the angle here. The angle at the center of the earth. Is going to be the same as the angle formed between the radius of the earth and the radius of this uh, small circle. I believe you are getting a connection. All right. You want to see the relationship between the radius of the small circle, letter R, and the radius of the earth, which is the sphere, capital R, which we know already as 6,400 kilometers. So can we apply trigonometry? If I say that this angle right here will also be theta, if that is going to be true, then I can say that this angle is facing here, which I don't have anything to do with. That is the opposite. This is the adjacent. This is the hypotenuse. So I can say using the cos. So I'll be having the cos of that angle equals to, we know cos is car, right? And the trigonometry, the adjacent side. What is the adjacent? Small r divided by the hypotenuse, capital R. But what are we looking for? We are looking for the small r. We want to find the small r. 
because the capital R is known. So I will multiply through by, uh, okay, let's cross multiply. So R will multiply this to give you R, then R capital will multiply the cost of the angle. So this is the relationship. In case we are given a small circle and we are asked to find its radius, this means that we have to find the angle that is the common angle for on the latitude for the two points. The latitude, the common angle. The cost of that angle times 6,400. That gives us our perfect radius of that very small circle. Since each of them will have a different radius, you can attest by the diagram from here. This will be different. You see, this is even smaller. If I have a small circle here, that will have a smaller radius compared to this. This will be bigger. The one getting closer to the center will also be bigger. So this will show that the angle they are forming at the center, the angle that latitude will be forming at the center, then the cost of that angle times the 6,400. That gives us the overview. So in this episode, we can define what a great circle is. We can define a small circle. We can tell which lines constitute the great circle. I mean, lines as longitude and the equator, great circle. All latitude except the equator, because the equator is a standard zero latitude. All latitude form a small circle. Why are they small circle? Because their center is not the same. As the center of the earth, meaning their radius is smaller than the radius of the earth. I believe that concept is clear. Now, in the next episode, we would like to find the angle or angular difference. If I have a point here, let's say, if a point is here and another point is here, we want to find the angle, angular angle, difference between the two angles when they are on the same latitude. The angle will form when they meet uh, a longitude. When they are on the same longitude, when they meet a latitude, what will be the angle between them? It must be a common angle. That's what we are having here. So in the next episode, we will take that. Don't miss that episode. So because of that, share this video. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Like the video after watching and leave a comment for us to get interactive. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.